afternoon and welcome back to AJ Case Kainas vlog and welcome back to another video. So here today I am bringing in another content with a very very severe pain in deep within myself of the ongoing issue and the viral video that has been going on. A friend of mine sent me that video and then I have I saw the first part and then I cut it because I couldn't finish the video. The brutality that contains in it, it's really inhuman and I cannot imagine what the girl might have felt at that point of time. So uh, many social medias and YouTubers have brought out the issues and then have brought many confusion statements and then uh, we are really confused at the beginning and then claiming that from Northeast and things like that. So it has been confirmed that the girl is not, the victim is not from Northeast and then neither the accused is from uh, any part of India but they are illegal Bangladeshis coming in from Bangladesh. That has been confirmed and then the accused all the four accused, five accused have been arrested in Bangalore. So that is a good news. But still I am psychologically affected and then cannot come in terms with what has happened. And then this is our time to raise up our voice and then stop all this injustice made out to poor victims. We need to definitely know who are these people who are doing this sort of things. And so I have been following up the news and then I think of lately through the reliable sources, I have uh, count, cut down the identity of the victims and I have brought the details, writing down the details and brought in to clarify who they exactly are because we should not confuse ourselves and then uh, get the news, fake news. Well, whoever the girl may be, the victim may be, wherever she or she will may be, maybe she's from Northeast or well, Bangladesh, whoever it may be, but the kind of uh, torture she has been meted out it is the work of humanity that we stand up and raise our voice against such issue that is happening in our country. Well, who is that victim in the video? Who is that? Who are those accused in the video? So based on reliable sources, let me identify these people involved in the video and then clarify ourselves once and for all who are they. And I hope this, the news which I am getting are true and then based on fact because there are the news that I'm receiving, the news that I'm following, have a statement of Bangladeshi officials confirming that they are Bangladeshis. So let me tell who this victim are. Who is that girl? Who is that victim? Being victimized so brutally in the video. Well, the source says that she too is a Bangladeshi and then believed to be a class 3 dropout student who was married in 2014 and believed and I believe what the report says, the report, as per the report, the victim has a four-year-old son back in Bangladesh. Her husband works in Kuwait and then uh, since her husband works in Kuwait, she has been constantly tortured in her in-law's house and that is how she has come back to her family and has been living with her family. Being from a financial constrained family, to increase her financial uh, status, she tried her luck to go to Saudi Arabia and then get a job and that is what she has paid 30,000 Bangladeshi taka uh, to a broker but those broker have cheated her and that is where she has gone missing and that is when she has gone missing and then it is as per the report she, their parents back in Bangladesh have filed a case a missing case in Bangladesh that is what the source confirmed of the identity of the victim who are those accused involved in the crime committed in the video? Well, I am unable to get the details of each and every uh, individuals of those people inform, uh, involved in the video, but there has been one identity that has been confirmed by both the sides of Indian and Bangladeshi officials. Uh, well, well, one of the accused name is Rivazul Hridoy, a 26-year-old Bangladeshi national who has come migrated to immigrated to India. Uh, four months ago as part of the source. He is very active in human traffic, uh, traffic business and that he has been luring in many of the young girls into prostitutions and various other social evils that involved. He is not a new, he is not a man new to this kind of business because he has a case been filed in Bangladesh in Dhaka police station of a planned robbery back in 2014. And let me tell you he is just an 8th grade uh, drop out student and I think he befriended the per present uh, victim luring in love and then that is how he has trafficked the girl in 
into this uh, in the sub subcontinent. Uh, that is what the source says. He is a very popular TikToker in his locality back then, and he is gone. He goes by the name uh, TikTok Tridoy Babu. So these are the uh, details that have been confirmed as as far the, uh, as far as the report is concerned. And then hopefully uh, all the accused will be punished per per law. And then we want nothing but an exemplary punishment for this kind of people who brutally assault innocent people, lure them into uh, this kind of uh, evil practices, cheating on people and things like that. And this video has really tormented many of the conscience of many of the people. And I for one, I am still unable to come in terms. This makes me angry because there are lots of our sisters, uh, our relations and many of them working outside. And where is their safety? Who can take care of them? When this kind of people goes around, luring people, I'm not safe of all these people. So it is the right time to rise up in an issue, to take up this cause. And many of the racism that, was, that are going on now. We are all human beings and need to respect each one as we are and that is where humanity comes maybe this girl is from bangladesh which have no connection at all and we cannot leave her because she is from uh, bangladesh we have to support her we have to stand up for a cause from wherever the person may be but this is the right time this is the right time to stand up and say yes we need to uh, do away with all this kind of social evil that happens and then this kind of people who are involved in such kind of act should be punished and given an exemplary punishment so that no people coming in future would follow the same suit. So if you do support this, please do share and then let the people know who these accused are and why they do this. And then this is all the report that I get now and then later on as I get more news, we shall update and then see. But now, please do like, share and comment this video this video and then we shall see how the things go about and i'm hoping that an exemplary punishment will be made out to these evils that goes around in uh, our country not even from our country coming from another country and how dare they do this this well in that video it is said that uh, while they were torturing the girl they were live streaming to some certain uh, devilish minded people and who were happily watching over that live streaming uh, video so that is what has happened the sense the human sense of those people have gone wrong uh, why they did that they did that it is the report says that they did that because the girl whom they have trafficked and brought her to india has taken the money and then have run away from the place and that is where this tridway tridway has went in search of this track down track down track her down and brought her back and then that is what the torture and the girl is believed to be in another city uh, after that incident she have left the city bangalore city and have gone to the other uh, neighboring uh, cities so we don't know where exactly their whereabouts is but the report says that they, even the victim is been uh, found now she has been discovered and so that is 